स्वागत है तुम्हारा आज खुले के मैथ्स का पिटारा पहुंचाएंगे पीवा क्यूज ऑफ आई एम ओ का ढोलक मैं हूं अमित मोदक सही सुना तुमने यस आज पीवाई क्यूज ऑफ आई एम ओ के ढोलक बजाने वाले and this would be of grade 5 and 6 so all my lovely students of grade 5 and 6 can practice this very very important questions of i am and you all are aware that how this renowned exam plays a vital role and every year we are trying our best to get a good score in i am so very very welcome students very very welcome to this amazing fantastic video and if you have not subscribed the channel please do it right now because this is only the channel you get the best things and you can do your best preparations all right chalo then so without much delay let's get started our quiz and the first question on your screen it comes here find the area and the perimeter of figure given below if pq is equal to qr is equal to rs is equal to sp equal to 10 cm and qm is equal to 6 cm these are the questions which have already come in your exams and they are important because you will be getting a idea you will get a pattern that from different topics how the questions can be arise so you have to find the area and the perimeter of this given figure where it says pq pq is equal to qr is equal to s r is equal to s i'm very sure you are aware of this figure that's rhombus all right so i'm hoping that you have got the answer and you have write on the chat box so let's look into the answer yes the d option is absolutely correct that is area is 60 cm square and the perimeter is 40 cm so students one thing i would like to say if this question comes okay and if you look into the option now you can get the answer in 5 seconds i will say batao sir kaise you look into the perimeter part now as you all know perimeter means the total length of the boundary and if all the sides are of 10 cm obvious the sum of all the four sides will give you 40 cm and that is only one option right otherwise we can do it with the calculations part also now obvious the perimeter would be very simple 4 into side that will give you 4 into 10 that's 40 cm now talking about area for area as you can see it's a rhombus and it's again a special type of your parallelogram where the four sides becomes equal so we can apply the formula of area of parallelogram and in case if you forget then what you can do is simply you can just join a line here and make it into two equal triangles now area of triangle is always being in our mind okay sometimes it may happen that area of parallelogram gets slips away but area of triangle is very simple to remember half base into height you can take the base as sr and height as qm and you can multiply with 2 so that it comes area of this triangle also okay and if you are knowing the formula of your area of parallelogram then it's going to be super amazing so half into sum of parallel sides so 10 into 10 uh, sorry 10 plus 10 into height height we have been given 6 so half 20 into 6 two ones are two threes are so we get 60 cm square right maza aaya okay then let's move on to the next question average age of five children is 8 years 4 months and if the average age of four children is 7 years 10 months the age of the fifth 
child is how much? It's a question based on average. And again, 2014 question. Cha, come on, solve students. Average age of five children is eight years, four months. If the average age of four children is seven years, ten months, what is going to be the age of the fifth child? Click on the pause button, solve it, and write on the chat box. All right. Chala, then let, let's look into the answer. Yes, it's once again the D option. 10 years, 4 months. Oh, let's see. So if you have got it, very wonderful. If not, let me explain. Average. Now, you know the average concept. Average means if we have, let's say, some, you know, let's say, some number of observations. Okay, let's say uh, if you are marks of five students of your class so that marks is observation okay so we take the sum of observation sum of observation by total number of observation how many students marks is being taken okay so here we have been provided with the average so average of five children is eight years four months that means eight year four months is being average equal to sum of edge of five children that we don't know divided by how many children's observation five children that were the number of observation so we can get sum of age of five children would be eight year four month into 5. That gives 8 5s are 40 year 5 4s are 20 20 month. Now as we all know in 12 month obvious 1 year happens. So 20 month means 1 year 8 month. So we can add it on 1 on this side. So it becomes 41 year 8 months. Similarly Similarly, we can say age, sum of age of four children. Very simple. Again, as the average is being given as seven years, ten months, we will multiply with four. So, it becomes now 28 years and ten fours are 40 months. Now, once again, I would say 40 months. 12 month, 1 year. So, if we divide 40 with 12, so 12 threes are 36. So, that means 3 years we are getting. So, 28 plus 3 year, that becomes 31 years. And it remains with 4 month. Now, if we subtract sum of, four, sum of age of 4 children from sum of age of 5 children, we will get the age of the fifth child. We will get the value of the fifth observation. So, age of fifth child would be 41 year 8 month minus 31 year 4 month. So, what we get? 41 minus 31 is 10 year, 8 month minus 4 month. That is so, this is our correct answer and this was in our D option. Okay, let's move on to the next question students. If 47.2506 equal to 4a plus 7 by b plus 2c plus 5 by d and one missing is there uh, plus, okay, plus should be there. 5 by d plus 6e. So, what could be the answer? What could be the answer for the value of 5a plus 3b plus 6c plus d plus 3e? What could be the answer for this? If 47.2506 equal to 4a plus 7 by b plus 2c plus 5 by d plus 6e, 
then the value of 5a plus 3b plus 6c plus d plus 3e is get on the pause button once again and solve it solve it so many variables a b c d and this is a PYQ of 2015. Getting stuck. What to do? Don't worry, I am there. Try first. And I have full belief in you. You can definitely, you all can do. Okay, then let's look into the answer. Yes, the option C is correct here. Okay, the option C is correct. So, let's solve this. If you have not got the answer, let's solve it. So, as I say, a little bit correction is there. So, yeah, 47.2506 equal to 4A plus 7 by B plus 2C plus 5 by D plus 6E. So, what we can do here is we can compare these two. Now, we will be expanding this part. Huh? So, what we can say is we can say 40 plus 7 plus we can say the decimal is there. So, it is 2 by 10 plus 5 by 100 plus 0 by 1000 plus 6 by 10,000 equal to 4a plus 7 by b plus 2c plus 5 by d plus 6e. Now try to compare left hand side and right hand side. So comparing 4a with a 40. So 40 is equal to 4a. So, that means A is equal to 10. Similarly, 7 is equal to 7 by B. That gives B is equal to 1. So, what we am doing is we are comparing. Okay. We are comparing. So, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This side, on this side, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, why one side is more because we have got a 0 here, 0 by 1000, that is again a 0 only, okay. So, now comparing the place value of this 2 by 10, 2 by 10 with 2C. So, 2, 2 cancel, what we get? C is equal to 1 by 10. What about D? 5 by 100 is equal to 5 by D. 5 by 100 is equal to 5 by D. Because 5 is there in the hundreds place. So, once again what we get here? D is equal to 100. And there is no place value for 0 by 1000. So, let it be 0 by 1000, 0 only. Okay. Then comes 6 by 10,000 is equal to 6e. So, e becomes 1 by 10,000. Okay. So, now as we all have understood the values of a, b, c, d and e. So, we can just put them 5a. 5 into 10 plus 3 into 1 plus 6 into 1 by 10 plus 100 plus 3 into 10,000. So, 100 plus 5 into 10 that is 50. 100 plus 50. 150 plus 3. 153. Now, decimal part, 6 by 10, that will give you the 6, 600's place. Then, 
3 by 10,000. So, we do not have anything on the hundredths place. We do not have any in thousands place. But we have a 3 in 10 thousands place. So, 153.6003. Okay, students. Let's move on to the next very interesting question of 2016. Sana and Fatima participated in an apple race. The race was conducted in six parts. In the first part, Sana won by 10 seconds. In the second part, she lost by 1 minute. Then won by 20 seconds in the third part and again lost by 25 seconds in the fourth part. She lost once again by 37 seconds in the fifth part and won by 12 seconds in the last minute, sixth part. Who won the race finally? Who do you think? Who won? Did Sana or Fatima or both reach at the same time or we cannot say anything? Try to solve it. All right, so let's look into the answer. Yes, Fatima won. How? Is it confusing? Let me make you aware how. Or let me tell you a very easy way to tell who won. So what we saw is Sana and Fatima both participated in the apple race. Now the race was being conducted in six parts. Obviously. Okay. In the first part, Sana won by 10 seconds. So, here two things are happening. Either won or loss. Either won or loss. So, let me take, you know, let me assign a positive number. Positive number for winning and a negative number for losing. So, let me take condition of Sana. Okay. So, in the first case, C won by 10 seconds. So, let me take the 10 seconds being positive. Second part, she lost by 60 minutes. Sorry, uh, 1 minute. That means 60 seconds. Okay. She lost by 60 seconds. Then again, won by 20 seconds. Okay. Positive 20. Then again, fourth part, lost by 25 seconds. Fifth part, lost. Sixth part won. Now, if we do the calculations, what we find is the positive numbers 10, 20, and 12, and negative numbers are these. So it's 242, and here we have. 7, 5, 12, carry 1, 6, 1, 7, 2, 9, 9, 3, 12. So, we are getting a negative 80 seconds. Means, if negative answer is coming, that means loss. So, who won? Fatima won. Alright. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next question. The distance above the ground is represented by positive integers and the distance below the ground by negative integers. An elevator begins to descend from 15 meter above the ground at a rate of 5 meter per minute. What will be its position after 45 minutes? Okay, so above the ground it's being taken positive and below it's negative. So, elevator is moving 50, uh, I mean, it is moving with a rate of 5 meter per minute. So, what will be the position after 45 minutes? Pause the video and solve it. So, students, are you getting the answer as minus 210? Then, it's absolutely correct. 
So let's look how we can do. So as it says the, let's say this is our base ground, okay. And the elevator begins to descend from 15 meter above. Means the elevator is somewhere here, which is 15 meter already above the ground. Okay. Now, let's say from here, okay, it goes down, it descends. So, in one minute, it says 5 meter, it goes right, 5 meter per minute, 1 minute, 5 meter. So, if it is descending, so let's say we are taking a negative sign. So, in 45 minutes, minus 5 into 45, how much distance it will cover? Minus 5 is 25, carry 2, 5 is 22, 22. So, minus 2 to 5 is the descending. But as it started, okay, the at as it started from 15 meter ever, so all in total we'll be looking at with positive 15 here, we'll get minus 210. So finally, we are getting minus 210 meter. So I hope you find amazing. Solving these very, very interesting PYQs question of IMO. So, I will be coming with, with more videos with more fantastic questions in the upcoming days. So, see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Thank you so much.